You need to eat your food. Otter is willing and, and ready. You gotta eat your food. Go eat your food. Go eat your food, love bugs. You got this, I know you can. I know you can. Go eat your food, please. Buns, funny. I know you have belly ouch, but you gotta eat, baby. You gotta eat. Eat your food. Good girl. Yet. Please eat your food. Outside. You want to eat it outside? Okay. Eat your food. Good girl. do you feel? Huh. Why? Ugh. What? Bunny, why? Ugh. Can you tell me? You don't have a word for why? Ugh. What's up, Bunt? Are you happy dad is home? You did smell dad, that's right. Dad came home. You did smell dad, so we- You're a maniac, maniac on the couch. And your teeth are sharp and they go bitey, ouch. Do you have poop on your butt? Oh. Another day of training with Audie. So I've been grooming him every day, more recently as his hair is getting longer and we're probably gonna keep it long until he's about a year old and then we will do a modified continental cut, which will be fun. So um, yeah, it's important to, you know, um, get them used to this in a really positive way because especially for poodles and doodles, any dog with hair um, and not fur, you're gonna be grooming them a lot. Um, and I'll probably do a separate video on line brushing. Um, but here, he's just got a bully stick. He's very relaxed. Um, at this point, this was several weeks ago. At this point, he'll just sort of lay in my lap and let me groom him, which is nice. But I usually give him something to chew on. Um, it's easier than sort of, you know, feeding him treats after every stroke, which is what I did at the beginning. But he's now getting used to it. And sometimes he even seems to enjoy it. So, um, and I'll also do a video about, you know, what tools I'm using for that. Here we are doing some dremeling. We've spent a fair amount of time desensitizing to the dremel, um, just letting him sniff it, uh, positive reinforcement, um, turning it on, letting him get used to the sound, um, touching it to his nails with, uh, with it off, get him used to that. And he's feeling a little frisky today, but he managed um, to allow me to do all of his front nails, except for his dew claws on this session. And when he's over it, he's over it, and we don't have to do it all at once, that's totally fine. Um, and I'll do this about like once a week. Uh, and sometimes we can get through just a couple of nails at a time. Um, sometimes we get through, you know, two feet at a time. It just really depends on him and that's totally fine. Uh, again, that bully stick is really, really helpful at this point. Let's see what's happening now. We got Otterbutt. Uh, I think we're just being silly here. Showing him the Dremel, asking him if we can do a little bit more. 
And I think he's, he's probably like, yeah, maybe not so much. So I go back to combing here and we're being silly. Um, oh, and here I'm, I'm cleaning his ears. That's another thing that I need to do regularly for him. Um, and he doesn't love it because he's had an ear infection. So, um, you know, he's had a negative experience with things in his ear already. So we take it slow, lots of positive reinforcement. I'm cleaning out his ears with little medicated wipes right here. Um, take as many breaks as he needs, go at his pace. And yeah, you can see he's pulling away a little bit. He doesn't love it, but try and keep it short and positive. Um, but still the job has to get done. It's really important to clean his ears out. Um, and then we have a flush as well. And I'll, I'll make a video doing the flush as well, which he's, he likes even less, but we're, we're getting there. And now a little bit more combing back and forth and here what do we have okay we're, we're working on some rear end awareness here pause up there we go that little boot scoot around what a cutie what a cutie oh yeah, he's getting really good at this he's getting good at his heel positions which i love not necessary but it is fun Oh, and there I tried to have him sit while his paws were on the thing and we weren't there yet. So that's for another day. And done, moving on. Get him into that heel position, work on finding that heel. He was pretty squirrely this day, I remember that. Yeah, there we go. There we go, my little dude. Like, what is this about? And now we're working on middle a little bit. He's really comfortable with that position, which is great. We're working on a couple of different ways to get into that position. Here, I'm only showing the around the leg and behind and through version. I love his little front markings. Those little sh like shoulder tufts are so cute. And now what are we doing? Oh, we're just doing some downstand drills. Yeah. Still don't have stand on cue. That one's tricky. That one was really tricky for Bunny too. Throw in some spins just because, you know. All right. Oh, and here we play. Yeah, oh, I just love ending our sessions with play. It's the best way to sort of end on a really high note, um, strengthen your bond, and it helps improve learning. So we play a ton. Plus, it's just really fun. Oh, look at that, sneaking in some snuggles. Wee! Go get it, buddy! <laughs> so much fun. Go play with your dogs, you guys. Hi friends. I am super excited to finally announce that the Fluent Pet Investment Campaign is live. We created this campaign because we wanted Fluent Pet users and supporters to be able to participate in this crazy journey. Since Fluent Pet launched less than 18 months ago, we've created and sold tons of new tools in response to your feedback. We've made dozens of different kinds of hex tiles, continuously iterated and improved on our sound buttons, and sold tens of thousands of kits to people as excited as I am to discover even more ways to communicate with our animal companions. So the funds we're raising here are gonna to go to three things we're working on. First, to take our tools to the next level. The app we're developing is just the first step. Second, uh, we'll be applying the investment to developing the community at how.theycantalk.org. And third, the funds will be supporting the scientific research into what it is that our learners are doing when they press the buttons. So that's all I have to say for now, but if you have any questions or you are interested in more information, please check out republic.co forward slash fluent pet. Thank you, love you. Subscribe.